Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So 2019, April 28th, I ran the London Marathon. <laughs> This is pretty much how it all started. About six months ago, I got an email come through from Dementia Revolution asking if I would run the London Marathon for them. And I didn't even have to think about it. Straight away, I said, no, I can't do that. I went back and I said, I will do anything else for the charity, but I physically, I can't run a marathon. I mean, I can't even run to the shop, let alone run a marathon. It's never even been on my bucket list. And I have some like really crazy things on my bucket list, but the London Marathon or any marathon is never been something on it. So a few days later, I was in the gym with my personal trainer and I was complaining to him about not being fit enough and not being able to do the things that I wanted to do and how, oh, I imagine if I could do the marathon. And he sat there and he said, you can. And I was like, oh, yeah, but you haven't actually seen me run. Like, I can't. I can't run. I literally cannot run. And anyways, he managed to convince me and here I am today, post-marathon day. I run the marathon now. So when I started training about six months ago, it was such a struggle. In fact, I've actually kind of, to be honest, I've hated every single minute of the training. Haven't enjoyed it at all. To be honest, I still don't like running. I like it more than I did at first because I absolutely hated it, but I still don't like, like it, so I don't enjoy it. But I started about six months ago. I started by doing like 2K, then I worked up to 3K, 4K, 5K. I remember my first 5K was insane. Like that was the most surreal feeling to me. It was almost like I did a marathon. And we pretty much just went up like that. It was a lot of training out in the rain when it was freezing cold. And to be honest, I couldn't have done it without Ross. I'm so lucky that I had someone to actually be able to run with me and to push me because even though I had agreed to do it, I still mentally didn't actually believe that I was gonna be able to do it. I just kind of thought, you know, I'm gonna give it my best shot. I remember when I actually went downstairs and I told my family that I'm gonna run the London Marathon and they had no faith in me. I know they would always believe in me and whatever I would do, but this was maybe just the one thing they wouldn't. And I don't blame them. My mum's just coming in to tell her little story. Well, when Saffron started running um, and said she was gonna do the marathon, her, her PT, Ross, messaged me and said, oh, we're gonna do the marathon. And I was like, Ross, honestly, she cannot run like she's the worst runner we go running and we end up oh she says push me push we don't me. go running we, no, we, we, we go used running. to we used to attempt running and she used to go push me push me push me and we'd not even do a kilometer and she'd be crying saying she has asthma and i'd be like no you don't she's <laughs> she said it like she an angry version of that constantly <laughs> of all yeah. these illnesses and god knows what when we were running she's like no i've got this i've got that anyway when ross went running with her he'd been a couple of times he messaged me and he said wendy you underestimate how bad she is she's worse than you ever said. So I Same. still can't believe that you did it. Like, Same. Oh Anyways, it's amazing. anything is possible. It sounds so cringy, but no matter what it is, if it's running, if it's, I don't know what, it's possible. If you ever get the opportunity to run for a marathon, definitely do it. And I just want to say thank you so much to Mentor Revolution for letting me run for you guys. It's a charity that's really close to all of my family. So thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much to everybody that sponsored and donated and supported me in any way that they could. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go. London Marathon 2019. Let's go. Good morning everyone. Today is possibly the scariest day of my entire life. I pretty much didn't sleep all night. One being because I'm absolutely terrified and two being because he snores, which is so great. <laughs> but anyways, today is the day of the marathon. This is my running motivation and this is the time, three minutes past six with this amazing view of Tower Bridge. All this time, this is what we've been training for. Although it's been very on and off training because I'm the busiest person in the world and he's the busiest person in the what? world. Because of that, it's been very on and off training, but all of this training has been for this one day. Getting the running socks on because I'm so perfect. <laughs> yes. We've got chips on our shoes so that everybody can track us. Shoes are on, all good to go. We're gonna go down to the lobby, it's so early. Name is on the t-shirt, just need to get the number on, so Ross is gonna do that for me now. Boom. I am not good with early mornings, let me tell you that. We have to meet at reception at 6.45 a.m. to get the blue bus across to the hospitality and VIP tent. Right, jacket is on, it's gonna be freezing waiting around for this long. And as soon as we start running, we're gonna be boiling hot. Bye, hotel room. 
there's a lot of people ready for the marathon this morning. How are you feeling? <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be dates how early it is. We are walking over to the blue bus. <laughs> it really is blue. I didn't actually know it would be blue bus. I thought it would just say blue on it. We're going on. Alright, so we finally found somewhere where we can put the sign. We look at that. It's freezing out, but we made it. Look, we've just come into the hospitality area and there's all of this food. If we didn't manage to get breakfast because it's such an early start, we got this. I really want to have a nice pastry. These look amazing. If it's a day to have a treat day, today is the day. Saffron, what's the breakfast choice? Yes. The pastry I've ever seen in my whole <laughs> <laughs> Lovely jubbly. I'm feeling so much better now. I've had a pastry down me. I have a bit more energy. I was literally like falling asleep on the bus. I was like, what's wrong? I was like, well, I'm nervous and also I'm so tired. But we are right by the start line. Just watch the athletes go. I saw my Farah and I was just, I was so excited. Honestly, I love him so much. Here is the elite pack runners. I believe my Farah's in there somewhere. I don't actually know if he is running today. We're just about to start. We are literally about to start. We are literally about to start. So, yeah, yeah, literally. Here it is. Up here. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yes, it's been amazing. I've already feel sick. I think I ate too much beforehand. But anyways, mile three. Here we what? go. Well, there's running a marathon, and then there's running a marathon as Big Ben. Hey! Come on, sir! Come on, sir! You live next. Yes, then, Dad. We're running to point two, so we can get stuff. Where are we going next, Dad? Nine. Nine, yeah. Number nine. We're coming out to mile six, and my parents come, well, my mum's come around here. I've seen my dad, which is good. So, thank you. Love it, the Mediterranean Park. Love it. So, we're just looking out for our fan now. I don't know how I'm doing this while running, but I still can't see my parents. My uncle started her, but feeling good again now. Here come the Incredibles. Da -da -da -da. I just got my friend. It was so unexpected. Late the cousin. Hard work now. Hard work. We're at, well, we've just gone past mile 10. Yeah. Coming up to mile 11. Two hours of running. Two hours of running. At least two hours more. But at my least. dad and Matt are at mile 11, so we're going to see them there. Dad's a little bit further on. Is it? Oh, it's just there, it's just there. Yay! Keep going! But this is Saffron's hardest point. She's never run further than this. This is a, like a breakthrough moment when we do see her. Come on, Saffron! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Keep going, keep going! Keep, keep going, going. going, don't stop! Saf, you're smashing it! 
so proud. Saf, you're past your hardest point now. 18 is past your hardest point. I'm so proud of you, Saf. You keep going. Get through that wall. Come on. Right, darling. Right, we're at the 21 mile mark now. So this is uh, way beyond where Saf has ever been before. Hopefully we see them because we got them some protein bars. Right, so we've just spoken to Ross who Saf was running with. Apparently Saf is really struggling at this point. Which obviously is expected at this far end. So when we next see her, I think we're going to have to go crazy for her. Dan, you ready for her? Absolutely fine. Here we go. We've got protein bars. Do you want a protein bar? Oh, look at that. Woo! This is how slow my legs are going right now. I may as well be walking. At least I'm trying. We're coming up to mile 20. This is further than we've ever done in our training. So, actually, the furthest we've done in our training is 18. My body hurts. My body hurts so much. I'm actually feeling better than I did at 13 miles. That was awful. So. Oh, hi. Well done. Yay. We're coming up to mile 22. I can't believe this. You're doing amazing. Don't do it. Oh my god, here we go. Come on, sir! Go on, sir! Run. This is what everyone says is the worst bit because there's no crowd, dark, sticky. No motivation. No motivation whatsoever. We've been running with them for ages. I got it wrong. This is the tunnel I was on about. I know this because the feeling is awful. It's dark and it's also cold and sticky again. But we're coming up to mile 24. So my body is hurting in every place. My leg is so painful like my hip and I don't know how I'm still going, but I've been getting the nicest text throughout. I've had the most amazing support from you guys watching and just random people. And I'm just so excited to finish. I know I'm going to be so emotional, but I can't wait. I'm moving. I'm in so much pain. 385 yards. I want to sprint right there. There's no part of me that can. Come on, we got this. 385 yards to go. So close. Yes, so far. We're finishing. Oh my god. Wow. Yes. Oh my god. How are you feeling? So tired. Do you reckon you could do one more mile? No. <laughs> the last mile was the hardest thing of my life. So to add to the really special day, we're now <laughs> on a bicycle. Hey, the tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Anna looks really tall because she's sitting alone. I'm sitting alone. I'm the child. I'm the child. I'm the child. Three adults and one child. Glad to take. Woo! My feet hurt so much, okay? So give me a piggy bag, although we're going on an escalator. Oh. Do you want to let go of me now? No, it's alright. So. This looks even more painful than my run. <laughs> I feel like I've, oh I've done enough. Oh Hi! Like 
So everyone, it is the next day, 26. 0.2 miles later, two toenails later, and a very achy, sore body, especially my hip. My hip hurts so much. At like 13 miles in, my hip just went. I don't know what's happened to it, but it's so sore and so painful. I have lost two toenails. I actually really want to show you what one of my toenails is looking like. It's so gross, so maybe just skip the next five seconds if you don't want to see this. So basically two nails are coming off. It's disgusting. So that is the reality of running a marathon. I feel like I can't even bend my leg. They are so stiff and my, my foot keeps almost like seizing up. It's almost like getting cramp in your foot. It's really, really, really painful. And my toenails are so painful as well. Although it was the most painful thing and it still is the most painful thing, it's the best thing I have ever, ever, ever done. I never knew that I could actually push my body this far. This might sound really cringy and some people might not get this. If you've ever ran a marathon or if you've ever pushed your body to the extreme, you will understand this. But it just changes you mentally pushing your body that much. And I feel like it's definitely changed me as a person or at least how I think. My parents said to me, would you ever do one again? And I looked at them and I just said, never again i was honestly i was crying so much i was like doubled over i felt so 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 ill and sick like i just feel so much although my body hurts now i feel so much better i just felt so ill and now i've woken up and although i'm hurting i'm like i just want to do that again because it's the most rewarding thing ever and just realizing that anything really is possible i think we've nearly raised like nine or ten thousand pounds now which is just amazing it means so 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 much to me and i know it means so much to everybody Everybody as well who works at the charity and I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has donated I haven't completely worked out how much we've raised to yet I'll like put it on the screen what I think we've raised <laughs> But thank you so much everybody that donated. Thank you so, so, so much to everybody that came down and supported or just supported me in any way that they could. I couldn't actually believe the support that I had on the day. It really did get me through it. I felt like the luckiest person in the whole world. I had the most amazing support from you guys watching and also just even from random people. Even if I never run a marathon again, I know that I would now, hands down, I would be there watching the marathon and supporting as many people as possible because it really, really, really does make a world of a difference and there was people from like well apart from like the tunnels which are like the hardest bit there's people from like the beginning to the end it was just amazing it was the most amazing experience i've ever 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 had and yeah if you're ever thinking of doing a marathon please just do it i never even thought i wanted to do a marathon it was never even on my bucket list but if you've even just thought about it once like oh imagine if i'd done the marathon just do it just sign up because your body can do it it's mentally hard it's not your body your body will be able to get through it so i believe in anybody that thinks that they could do it or wants to do it. It is possible, I know, because I started from the bottom and I've done it. I could not run half a mile. And I just want to thank Dementia Revolution as well for letting me run for them. It was so, so, so amazing. As I've said this before, it's a charity that's really close to my family's heart. I also want to give a big thanks to all of my friends and family that came down and supported me as well. You guys know who you are. That really did get me through it. Like, every mile I knew what, like, stages my friends and my family would be at and it really Really just does make a difference because it makes you just want to run to that certain mile just to see them standing there so thank you so much hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys soon bye